Hi, I'm Cameron Castleman, and this is Crazy and in the News. All right, so this week, a California father tried to sell his 14-year-old daughter to an 18-year-old man. That's right, his 14-year-old daughter to an 18-year-old man for, are you ready for this? Cash, beer, and meat. Yep, cash, beer, and meat. And when the 18-year-old man did not live up to his end of the deal, what did this father do? He called authorities. What? Also, the U.S. Health Department has said that STDs are still on the rise despite prevention efforts and that the main infections occur in women between 15 and 24. The cost the U.S. healthcare system spends a year is $15.3 billion on the said STD problem. Now, if it wasn't so taboo for women to talk about sex and women weren't known as hoes if they lost their virginity at 16 and men were known as saints if they lost it at 16, maybe this wouldn't be a problem. Or, maybe if we spend some of that $15.3 billion a year on treating STDs and put it into sex education instead, maybe we wouldn't have the problem. Laura Bush said in an interview that she was, quote, sort of angry at Obama for what he has said about her husband, George W. I don't care. George W. also said in that same interview, quote, I told the American people I wouldn't tire and I wouldn't falter and I haven't. We've stopped specific threats. Although he failed to mention any. He also said, quote, during the course of his presidency, I've been disappointed at times by the silly name calling that goes on in Washington. It's really not necessary. Thank you, Sarah Palin. It may be if you're dumb, you're stupid, or an idiot, or a dumb, stupid idiot, that's what we're going to call you. Sorry. Also, a man was accused of threatening to kill President Bush. Again. A video was also released on the internet from Antarctica, the Antarctica base, so that we could see what they are living with down there in the snow. However, they open this door and this gush of wind comes in. The wind's a million miles an hour. Not really a million. However, the wind chill was negative 100 degrees and it's summertime. A 22-year-old girl is auctioning off her virginity to pay for, ready for this, her master's degree in marriage therapy. The bidding is currently up to $3.7 million with over 10,000 men bidding. This is apparently supposed to happen in a small town in Nevada where prostitution is legal and her role model is her sister who paid for her entire education by being da -da -da, a hooker. There was a woman anchor and a man anchor on CNN talking about this. The woman anchor was probably just mad she didn't come up with the idea because $3.7 million is a lot of money. And the man anchor was, well, mad because he was outbid. In California, a man said that his 13-year-old daughter sent 14,528 text messages in a single month. That's an average of 484 text messages a day, one text message every two minutes while you're awake, and a 440-page statement from AT&T. If you don't have unlimited text messages, that would cost you a grand total of $2,905.60. The dad said he thought this was a mistake. However, if your 13-year-old daughter was sending a text message every two minutes, wouldn't you notice? And like a typical California girl, California teenager, she still has her phone. However, her punishment, she doesn't get to use it at dinner. In Washington State, the state court ruled that it is not illegal. Again, the state court ruled that it is not illegal for teachers to have sex with students. Washington State Court ruled that it is not illegal for teachers to have sex with students, as long as they're 18. 18-year-olds are free to have sex with whomever they want, and the law of no student-teacher relationships was initially made to protect 15 to 17-year-olds. The fact that he was her high school teacher apparently doesn't matter. He says it never happens. Maybe we should believe him, considering he is her choir teacher. In D.C., a spokesman for Obama said that the president-elect is committed to ending the don't ask, don't tell policy that bars openly gay men and women from serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. The question was asked via the internet, and Robert Gibbs, the spokesman, said, quote, you don't hear politicians give a one-word answer much, but it's yes. Unfortunately, he's not a real politician. It just won't end right away because he has to get through the House and the Senate. Hopefully, he will have more luck with that than Bill Clinton did in 93. Sarah Palin, former vice presidential candidate, Republican of... Friend of Senator John McCain, maybe not a friend after you hear this, but she is still in the news and still lashing out at the media for how they covered and portrayed her, as well as Tina Fey and Katie Couric for exploiting her, and senior McCain officials for how they handled her. She also lashed out at her home state newspaper, and there's only one, and she's partially blaming her loss on, quote, bored, anonymous, pathetic bloggers who lie. Because they had a huge influence. Is she getting to run for president in 2012? Even Republican strategist Alex Castaneo said, quote, she needs a little time in the desert. She needs to retire. So let's hope not. 
Meanwhile, 4,500 miles away, back in D.C., the House of Representatives passed legislation on Wednesday expanding the State Children's Health Insurance Program, or S-CHIP, by more than $32 billion over five years. It passed with a 289 to 139 vote and will increase coverage of children from $6 million to $10 million. And taxpayers, good, for, good news for you, you don't have to pay for it because it will be paid for with a $0.61 cent per pack federal tax increase on cigarettes. So, for you smokers, as long as you keep smoking, our children are getting health insurance. Woo! In international news, the U.S. has been ordered to release a detainee at the Guantanamo prison camp who was arrested in Pakistan when he was 14 years old in 2001. He was a so-called, quote, enemy combatant and was accused by the U.S. of being an important member of al-Qaeda in 98, when he was 11. Allegedly, he also stayed in an Al-Qaeda-affiliated guest house in Afghanistan, but now lawyers have shown and proved that, well, he might not have ever even been to Afghanistan. U.S. officials have had relied on information from two detainees in Guantanamo who were probably tortured, and now their reliability, they've admitted, was questionable. So we can not find an Arab man six feet tall on dialysis living in a cave, but we are great at arresting 11 to 14-year-olds who are part of Al-Qaeda. Mm, wonderful. Palestinian deaths in the Gaza Strip have passed 1,000. China's economy has leapfrogged Germany, and Sudan admitted it carried out a wave of bombings in Darfur on Tuesday, like we thought it was anybody else. Also, Somalia's joyful after Ethiopian troops withdrew from two of their main bases in their capital city. Now, if they could just get their asses out of the rest of the country, maybe we would have some peace. In fun news, whoo, fun news, Ann Coulter is being argued as the worst guest ever and the most uncompassionate, annoying woman on TV after her day trip to The View. Duh. Where she attacked Barbara Walters by saying, quote, sure, read, read some. Are you going to read it like it's Mein Kampf again when Barbara Walters was going to read a section of her book? All to which Barbara Walters just took a deep breath and said, I don't think I did that. To which Coulter Bitch replied, uh, yeah, I think you did. You sat there and spat the words out when I wasn't sitting here. Sherry Shepard was just totally in awe, didn't know what to say, and was looking like this pretty much the whole time. And Elizabeth Hasselbeck sitting in between Barbara Walters and Coulter Bitch Avoided eye contact completely and pretty much was just looking down the whole time. Now, isn't it unfortunate that even Republicans still think she's crazy? Ugh! She must be so lonely. Poor Ann Coulter. Kidding! 15-year-old Miley Cyrus has designed a tattoo for herself with the initials JG in the middle. JG are the initials of her 21-year-old underwear model boyfriend. Good job, Disney and Billy Ray. Hey, at least your name's still in the news. Oh, now Oprah, 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 Oprah gushed, gushed over Kate Winslet's breasts on her show and how natural they are and how they are beautiful and in films move like real breasts to which Kate Winslet, like a true Brit, said, what, how they run for sanctuary under your armpits when you lay down. I am Cameron Castleman. This has been crazy and in the news. Please, please, please remember, do not let life be the best out of you. Please give the best out of your life. Thank you. Have a great day.